everyone, my name is Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I sell mainly on eBay and Poshmark, a little bit on Macari, and this week I started selling on Facebook Marketplace and I had one sell on that platform. This was probably my lowest sales week in about 17 years. And I had mentioned in the last video, my sales were down pretty low because I had not been listing much for a couple weeks. Well, it hit me even more so this week. I only sold $363.35. This really motivates me to list this week because I realize how much I really miss those daily sales when I have been doing this for over 17 years and every day used to getting multiple sales and then it's been dwindling down and now this week that is what an average of two a day I really really miss it I love it when I have 10 or 20 a day to ship out so I am ready to get back to it and really list a lot the two weeks ago I only listed I think one item in the entire week last week I listed 21 items and so this week hopefully a lot more I will get those sales back up there but I have been doing something else that's really fun I had the week of thrifting I've been putting in a lot of time on working on this series of everything that I do to list an item from start to finish so that's that's been a lot of fun, but I miss having all of my sales. So I will go over 10 of the sales that I did have this week though. I will start on eBay because I had the highest gross sales on eBay. I sold five items on eBay for $166.03. The first item came from the series that I'm working on and this was the Veronica Beard Myra striped pullover top sweater. It had a deep v-neck, it was size small, and I wore it in the haul on part two, and I loved it. Oh, the material was so nice. I loved the colors, but I wanted to sell it even more. So I listed it on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, and it started getting attention on all three platforms, but somebody sent me an offer on eBay for $50 plus shipping, and I thought, oh, I could hold out and probably get 60 or $65, but there is a lot to say for being able to flip an item quickly. And I was really wanting sales because I had not had many sales at all. And so I decided I'm going to take it and have a good sell this week. It sold for a gross amount of $58.81. My earnings were $44.13. I paid $5.99 at the regular Goodwill and it sold the same day that I listed it and my profit was $38.14 so I am thrilled about that first time ever finding that brand the next one I listed that same day and it was from my Goodwill haul that I just had where I'm doing this series and this was the Nike dry fit long sleeve gray running shirt and it got a lot of activity very quickly. I listed it for $29.99 with free shipping. I listed it on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari and it started getting attention right away. I got several offers but they were pretty low. I kept countering back with $24.99 and finally somebody took it. It sold for a gross amount of $27.36. My earnings were $16.01. I paid $5.99 at the regular Goodwill and it took just one day to sell. My profit was $10.02. The next one was an Eddie Bauer jacket that I had in a haul when we were in Edmond, Oklahoma, and I took my husband with me, and it was in the summer, but I went to the coats and sweaters because I knew that it was time to start getting those items listed. And this Goodwill was really crowded, but hardly anyone was in that area. I went over there and I saw this Eddie Bauer jacket and it was so nice. It was puffer black, a great size. I was willing to buy it in the summer, have it listed so it would be ready when, when the season changed. It sold for $28.06. My earnings were $22.85. I paid $7.49 and it took 79 days to sell. My profit was $15.36. The next one was a Lauren Ralph Lauren active jacket. It was pink and navy. It was in perfect condition. It looked almost new. It was size 3X, so a great size. I looked up comps and they just were not very good. I thought, you know what, this is really nice and it's a size 3X, I think it will sell. Well, always pay attention to the comps because it sat for a year on Poshmark. 
finally I cross-listed it to eBay and it sold 18 days after cross-listing it, but not for a great amount. It sold for $22.95. My earnings were $9.88. I paid $7.87 at Goodwill and my profit was only $2.01. But being that I had it listed for a year with very little activity, I was just really happy to recoup my $7.87 and make a profit of $2.01. So I'm lucky to get back the almost $10 and put that into something else. The next one was a Free People Black Lace Plunge Bra in size 32C. This one sold at a higher amount than I had expected. I have my store on a 25% off sale because I feel like it really helps when people see the items are marked down. The, the psychology of people thinking that they're getting a deal seems to work. So I leave my closet on an automatic sale. Well, I restarted every couple weeks. Well, it had gone off for a day and I forgot to restart it and it sold at the full price without even the 25% off. So I was thrilled about that. It sold for $28.85. My earnings were $19.89. I paid $4.61. I purchased it from Fox Liquidation and it took about six months to sell. I've had a lot of these multiple quantities and they just trickle out and my profit was $15.28. Then next we will move to Poshmark. I sold seven items on Poshmark for $119. The first item was a Goodwill Bins find. This was the Tom's Desert Cheetah Ankle Booties Wedges size seven. They sold for $22. My earnings were $17.60. I paid $2.50 at the Goodwill Bins three months ago and my profit was $15.10. I really like selling Toms. I don't think I've ever had a pair of Toms that have sat and sat and sat for a long time. They don't make a ton of money, but they always sell through pretty quickly. So I love picking up Toms. The next one was, a, I'm not sure if this is called ink or INC, snap front faux suede button front skirt. And it retailed for $99. It was new without tags. I found this at the bins and it had just some really not nice looking tags with markings all over them and all kinds of sell prices on them. And so I decided I didn't like the way that they looked. So I went ahead and removed the tags and listed them as new without tags. It sold for $12. My earnings were $7.55. I paid $1 at the bins one year ago. My profit was $6.55. I thought this one would sell for more. I thought it was so cute, nice, great retail value, but it just didn't sell for very much. It had sat for a little while, so I sent it into ThreadUp. It came back, it didn't sell there, relisted it, and it sold. And what's ironic was there was another item I got at the bins with that, that same day, and then they sell the same week. This was a brand new Aziz, I, I had never heard of the brand before, A-Z-I-Z, -Z, jacket, blazer, it was embroidered, size small, it sold for $17. I received back $12.10. I paid 90 cents at the Goodwill bins on this one. The tags were the same way, so I just cut them off and listed them as new without tags. And my profit was $11.20. This one also, I sent into thread up and it came back. So those two items had the same history and sold the same week. The next one was a Lane Bryant coat. It was tweed, black and white. And Lane Bryant is the brand that I pick up over and over again, and it does not sell for a lot, but it always sells for me in a pretty timely manner. So I will keep picking it up. It sold for $19. My earnings were $12.74. I paid $3 at the Goodwill bins two months and 18 days ago. And my profit was $9.74. And this one had money in the pocket. And so I actually profited more than that because there were several quarters. I think there was almost $2 in change. So my profit was more like $11.74, but we won't count that. But this one did have a little bit of wear on the fabric. So in the description, I just noted that and the person and received it. I got great feedback on it and so they were happy with it. And last, I had a sell on Facebook Marketplace. When I got all of the items to do this series, I decided I'm going to cross list everything and put everything on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. That way I can go through and out of those 64 items, that all have a fair chance of being sold on any of those platforms, be able to tell you how many things sold on each platform. 
Well, while I was doing that, I thought I should really try Facebook Marketplace also because I've heard other people on YouTube talk about sales on it and the fees are so low, 5%. So I thought, I'm just going to try it. Well, the first item I listed was this Polo Ralph Lauren plaid thick wool blend heavy flannel shirt jacket in size large. I listed it and it sold. I'm, I will have to pop it up. I think it was in 22 minutes. I got an offer for $50 plus shipping. So my gross sales were $65.32. My earnings were $46.73. I paid $7.69 at the regular Goodwill and my profit was $39.04 and it took literally minutes to sell. Facebook Marketplace, it shows how many views you have. I had 131 views in that short amount of time. Now, everything else that I've listed on there is getting hardly any views at all. Zero, one, two, and I'm seeing all these promotions that say to boost it for $2 a day or something like that. So part of my thoughts are, do they send your first item out to a lot of people so you have success right at first and you want to invest in that platform and then they don't get sent out as much unless you promote it? I'm just not really sure. I'm going to keep giving it a chance and listing things and see, but even I have some Nike, I can't remember, I think there were Nike Air Max, they've only had like two views. So I'm so I'm a little concerned about it. So if any of you have experience on Facebook Marketplace, let me know what you think of it. Do you get a lot of views on there? Do you pay to promote items extra? So I'm just learning on it, but I'm willing to give it a try because that 5% fee is excellent. It was very easy to use. It took no time at all to learn, learn the platform. I'm already paying for a list perfectly subscription. I thought, why not try out Facebook Marketplace too? It was very quick to cross list on. And so now we will go over my totals. I sold a total of 13 items and the breakdown of where they came from, seven of them were thrifted, four were liquidation, and two were retail arbitrage. I sold a total of 13 items for $350.35. I also sold three items at Plato's Closet for a gross amount of $13. So I added that into my totals also. So my gross sales, if you include those, was $363.35. Money back after fees and postage was $261.27. My cost of goods was $65.10 and my profit was $196.17. I have got to get this up. I am going to work so much harder on listing. On eBay, I sold five items for $166.03. After fees, $112.76. My cost of goods was $31.95 and my profit was $80.81. On Poshmark, I sold seven items for a gross amount of $119. After fees, $88.78. My cost of goods was $23.81. And my profit was $64.97. And Facebook Marketplace, I just went over that. One sell for a gross amount of $65.32. Profit of $39.04. I also went to Plato's Closet and I took two big bags of things. Brand new free people, new with tags items, and several other items. Since I was having such a low sales week, I thought, I want to get some more sales. They only accepted three things for $13, but I thought I'd tell you what they took. There was a pair of BKE jeans, and I had these in a haul, and on the tag, the label was sewn in upside down, and so I thought, I'll just list it that way, but I never did, and so I thought, you know what, I'm going to take these and see what they'll pay for them. They paid me $7 for them. I got them at the bins for around a dollar, so I was good with that. Then on all of my brand new free people, new with tags things, things that had tags for like $98, they were only going to give me $3 for those. So I said no. Then on, then I sold an Ava and Viv, which I think is Target, a really cute oversized shirt and it sold for $3. And then a maxi dress, I'll have to pop up the name of it. It was something like Sansu or something like that. $3, so not a lot, $13. I, I, I never have a lot of luck with Plato's Closet. That is everything that I have for you today. That was very short. We'll try really hard to have a lot more to share with you next week. 
But something exciting, it is almost the 15th. I just went to the Goodwill bins for the giveaway on the 15th. So that will be on November 15th and I found some great items. So be sure to watch on November 15th for my inventory giveaway. You'll, it'll, you'll have a couple days um, to enter to win that if you're interested in it. That is everything that I have for you today. I didn't have a lot of great sales to share this week, but hopefully I will next week. If you guys want to share your best one or two cells in the comments for everybody else to read so we can all learn from each other, that would be really wonderful if you would, if some of you wouldn't mind doing that and then we can all learn from each other. So thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great rest of the week. Bye!